Well, hello muggies. Hey, today at the circus, maybe some of you recognize that logo, maybe some of you don't. But today at the circus, we are going to be talking about one of my favorite knives of all time. Fixed blade, folder, it doesn't matter. This one is up at the top of the both categories, just favorite knife of all time, period. So if I sound like a fanboy of this knife, you'll know why, because I am. I'm a fan of the knife, I am a fan of the company, I am a fan of the owner of this company. And we'll get into all of that here in a second. First off, bev check, coffee. Yep. That's what a growing monkey needs. So, Orion Solaris. Let's show you the box first. We'll get to the knife. Most of you probably know the knife. If you're here researching this knife, welcome. Let me show you around. This is the box. This was the Gen 1, stonewashed with red accents. Not in the box. Knife, and it used to have a pocket pin there. Yeah, look at this. What? What is that? Yeah. When you buy an Orion knife, David also has a bunch of accessories and upgrades you can buy too. So, you can buy more colorways, 10 bucks a piece. There's four different colors. You come with one. If you don't want a red or blue, which is what your choices are when you buy the knife, 10 bucks you can buy another backspacer, the pivot collars. And for $5, David will put all of this together for you if you buy it when you buy your knife. He'll pay him an extra five bucks. He'll put it in whatever configuration you want when you buy it. You can also buy, these are the Gen 1. I bought these when I bought my Gen 1. They are cur still currently available. The Gen 1 JG10 scales. Guess how much these are. So I'm probably going to guess uh, 30, 40 bucks, probably. Maybe, nope. <laughs> 15. $15. And that's not like a clearance sale. That's what they've always been what I bought these for. That's what they are still available for. These are, like I said, Gen 1. Gen 2, he also has uh, carbon fiber, raindrop carbon fiber scales. And those are the Gen 2 scales. And we're getting ready to go through what the difference between Gen 1 and Gen 2 is. And a lot of it has to do with those scales and how they are milled. So, Stonewashed red accents, that's your Gen 1. Well, my Gen 1, but as far as what we're looking at today. Blackwashed with blue accents, that's my Gen 2. Now, before we get into the knives, let me tell you. Down at the link, I'll put Orion Knives and Blade Banner. All of David's links will be down there, as well as Mattis Faction who is the YouTube channel and friend I got the Gen 2 from. I won this from him in his very first giveaway. Thank you, brother. I appreciate this knife so, so much. As well as this leather pocket slip, which I honestly thought I would just put away and give away at some point. I have kind of fallen in love with this. Cedar Creek Leatherworks, I believe, is the company. It'll be on David's site if this is what in, if this is something that interests you, because it turns, like I said, it turns it into a very large pocket dropper, but a pocket dropper nonetheless. You can throw this in your front pocket with your phone or whatever, and not have to worry about it with your wallet, um, whatever you want, and it's not going to hurt anything. You can throw it in a back pocket, a side pocket, and not have to worry about anything. I love that because one of my very minor nitpicks with this knife, I don't have many, basically two, is that sometimes when this is in your pocket and you are sliding down if you have a narrow pocket in the pants you're wearing at the time and you're trying to get past this, you will sometimes jam a finger on that button. And a couple of times it has hurt pretty good. so. Uh, I, that's when I started using the pocket slip, and I actually find myself using the pocket slip more often than not now. Not because of dinging my finger on the button all the time. Like I said, it doesn't happen all that often, but when it did, it hurt sometimes. So, I just got used to taking the slip, and man, let me tell you, it 
uh, it also feels a little classy. <laughs> I don't know why to take my knife and put it in its nice leather. Smells amazing, by the way. Excuse me while I break some stuff. Um, but, <laughs> yes, smells amazing, does a great job holding the knife, and like I said, it keeps your fingers away from dinging on little edges here and there. Not just this knife, any larger knife will work in that slip. But, it's made for this one, and I love it. Thank you again, Matthew, and David, and Cedar Creek. Um, thank all you guys, everybody who makes an input for this knife. And the accessories, thank you guys, because I love this knife. It is amazing. But the differences between Gen 1 and Gen 2, let's get back to it. Gen 1 has a constant bevel all the way around these handle scales. You see that? Let's, let's close these guys. And Gen 2, you can see how that, come on, you can see how that bevel widens up in the grip area as well as up here in the front finger choil. So the comparison, let's see if I can get these up here. Yeah, they uh it's it doesn't seem like it's much of a difference, but it's very noticeable in hand. Um this grip feels fine. It's just it could be more ergonomic. It feels a little blocky. This one starts to get to that ergonomic level of this is comfortable in my hand. So it's not that that one hurt and this one doesn't, it's just that this one feels more comfortable. And if you're gonna be using a knife for work, even if it's not necessarily the hardest work, you're just breaking down boxes, comfort equates to how long you're gonna be able to use that knife before you your hands get sore or you just wanna take a break because it doesn't fit right. The weighting of a knife in some situations is similar, but the other main difference I notice between one and two, because everything is interchangeable between one or two, you can put these Gen 1 handle scales on my Gen 2 and the Gen 2 on the Gen 1 if that's what I wanted, but the other difference is that my Gen 1 is like it's riding on glass washers. It's not quite greased glass. It's not quite greased glass, but it's very almost out of control on this one. This one feels a lot more in control. I don't know what it is. I will, like I said, in the future, I will pop these apart side by side so we can take a look at if there are any difference in the washers, if there's any difference in the springs or any of the mechanism that actuates these things, the detent, all of that. All of that mechanism, we'll see if there's any different, but not today. <laughs> and I would lose this video by the time I got that done if I even tried to put those two videos together. So that's what this is. Now, let me give you a little bit of size on this thing, not specs. You don't really need them. It's a big knife. Let me just stop there. This is a big old knife. Three and an eighth inch of blade. Three inches of that is cutting edge. Let me zoom you in. Yeah, three inches of cutting edge, even with that giant front choil. Seven and three quarters inch overall. And let me tell you, that gives you, I think, about four and a half inches, four and a quarter. And we are about four and a half inches of blade. But if you go up to the very front of that finger choil, you got four and three quarters inch of grip space from there back. And let me tell you, <laughs> that's about an inch more than I really need. But uh, it's nice to know it's there. It also allows me to scoot back and still have all four fingers. They're just on there, but they are on there, and you got a good grip on this thing. So if you did want to do hard work with it, you can. Like I said, that's just not what I use my folders for. As far as your blade height, you're looking at about an inch and a quarter, and the overall height, when it's closed, it would be a little over an inch and a half about an inch and nine sixteenths there you go so 
some comparables. Let's leave the Gen 1 out here since it's easier to see on the background. And we'll go a pile. Civivi Riffle is pretty much spot on, same length. Steel Wheel Shaula, slightly longer, just ever so slightly, and much narrower. The Amare Field Bro. It's air so slightly shorter in the handle area and maybe a hair on the uh, blade side as well, but fairly close. Revo Berserk, spot on, same length. Dam Designs Vendigo. Uh, maybe just a hair in the handle, but other than that, same, same. And then we'll go with two knives that kind of fill the same slot as this one, which is a fidgety folder. And also a capable folder so something maybe in the same general size but uh, overall one a little smaller one a little bigger but depending on how dressy I wanted to be and exactly what I was going to be using my knife for one of these three is probably going to be in the rotation so there's my medium size folder these are three of my absolute favorites. In fact, they are probably my three favorites right there. My three favorite folders. I'll just say it down. Three favorite folders. Except for one more. You know there's one more coming. Which is to say... What would this knife look like in one of my standard EDC rotations? Whoop-pap, whoop-pap, whoop-pap. There you go. Small fixed blade, medium to large folder, small folder. That is a grumpy EDC rotation. And that's what I got for you today. If you got any questions about the Orion Solaris, let me know down below. I'll have the links for Blade Banner and Orion Knives down there, as well as Mattisfaction. Check them out. Awesome guys. Amazing knife. Great company. Just... Get your hands on one. They are definitely worth hunting down for $85. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't get how it could be that cheap. It's such an amazing knife, and that it's less than 100 bucks just seriously amazes me. So, if you got one, let me know. If you want one, let me know. If you had one, and for some reason you're one of the rare people who didn't like it, let me know what the issue was. I'm interested to find out the problems that some people have with this knife. Because I've heard a couple people that just didn't fit their hand. Right? Ergos are a problem for all of us. But this one seems to fit me and a lot of my friends, even if they have slightly smaller or larger hands than I do. So, did a really good job here in my opinion, David. Thank you very much, my friend. Thank you again, Mattisfaction. Thank all of you guys for watching. Listen to me blather when I make these videos and uh, stopping by for the lives. Live every Thursday night at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you're around, come on by and join us. But until then, until I see you again, and I do hope I see you again, stay well, be kind, do good. That's it. Just grumpy. And I'm out.